Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Spy Family, episode 2. So yeah, we are finally continuing with more of this. Um, as you know, last week we finished off close uh, close enough. And I decided to go with this next just because I wanted to. <laughs> um, I, I've been seeing people constantly posting everywhere about uh spy family it's all over social media it's all over just literally everywhere you go online and so i wanted to get to it i wanted to get to more of it and just before i would possibly get spoiled or anything um to make sure that i enjoy the experience as much as i can and like i said in the in, in the afterthoughts on the close enough reaction um we will be getting back to other stuff as well uh we'll still be getting to everything else that's on the list it's just it's my channel i can get to whatever i want when i want right um i if i want to get to this before something else that's on the list i can it's my choice <laughs> But again, I will be getting to everything else. It's just certain things also have a lot of heavy topics in them that I've been wanting to avoid lately. But hopefully we should be getting ready to get back into that soon. And then, and then we'll just be getting back to a lot of stuff that's still on the list. We'll still be getting to stuff like Watchmen and Agent Carter and other stuff that we've been waiting on. So don't worry. But either way, I'm excited to get back to this. So the first episode really impressed me. Um, not only was it clever and funny and smartly written, but it was genuinely really good. It had a lot of depth to it. The characters are extremely likable. The art and animation is great. The soundtrack, the voice acting, everything is really good. And I really didn't expect it to be as good as it was. But, I mean, sometimes shows do live up to the hype it does happen believe it or not uh so with this series um we have this spy uh he he only goes by a code name because his real name is at this point just completely discarded he, he doesn't have an identity outside of his spy business so he just changes his name depending on the job and everything. Um, so his recent job was to obtain blackmail photos um, regarding a politician. And now he is on a job to basically infiltrate this school. And to do so, he has to create this family. So his first job as part of this mission was to get a child. So he went to an orphanage as after getting a home, of course, <laughs> as, um, oh God, what's his first name? Um, his, his fake first name, you know. I can't think of it at the moment. Um, I know his last name is Forger. Uh, but he goes to this uh, orphanage that is pretty run down. And his, his idea is that if it's run down and everything, it's like it, I'll be able to do this easier. It'll, it'll be a lot more quick and not as much paperwork to worry about and all. Lloyd, that's his name, Lloyd Forger. And he ends up uh, finding the perfect one because the guy there just does not give a shit. The... the the person running the orphanage, he's kind of a piece of shit. So he's like, just 
he, he's clearly raising these kids in squalor. They look miserable, honestly. And he's basically like, just take whatever one you want and go. <laughs> um, he explains that he does want a smarter child. And so he's led to Anya. Anya is this young girl who happens to be a genetically engineered psychic child. Which was the biggest surprise to me com coming into this because going into the first episode, as, as hugely popular as this series had uh, proven to be already, as exceptionally uh, just well known and as, as much as there is at the time all over the internet about it, that is one thing I just was not spoiled on at all. Um, I had no idea about it, even from like a general sense. So it's like w w when that was revealed, it's it was kind of like this oh shit moment <laughs> that just got, actually got me kind of really excited. So we see that Anya is psychic. Uh, it's made very clear right off the bat. They don't try to hide it. They don't try to play around the idea. It's they they make sure you know. Um, however, Lloyd does not know. He thinks she's just exceptionally smart with the entire trick with the word search, the crossword. So he decides to take her and starts trying to figure out how to raise her. <laughs> but eventually she ends up getting captured after accidentally sending out a message via Lloyd's wire. <laughs> Um, she ends up getting captured by legitimate bad guys and seeing their leader, like, legitimately murder the shit out of one of his own men right in front of her. And it's like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> this poor fucking girl. <laughs> um, I've always had kind of this protective nature when it comes to kids, and, and I really don't like seeing kids in dangerous situations. It freaks me out. Um, but especially when, like, there's, it's not just dangerous, but there's actual death involved. Like, it just, it bothers me. It does. And it should. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we see her even understanding how much of a danger this is. And that's when her father comes in, disguised as one of their men who had gone to capture Lloyd. Um... He comes in cap, uh, pretending to be the guy, and he's pretending to hold the real target hostage. But they soon find out that they were tricked, but it's already enough time for him to have gotten away with Anya. He sets them up in this flower trap, which I didn't know this. Um, this is actually a fun fact I found out through other people's reactions. I didn't even like realize it during my reaction. But it's it's mentioned like one of them is like gonna shoot and he's like no don't you'll blow us all up I didn't it just didn't connect with me that that would sound weird, um, but as I was watching another reaction I don't remember exactly whose it was, like I think it was a it was a group of them though, um, or at least there were multiple people because one of them responded to the other, um, it could have been a number of people but. Uh, one person said, w was confused by the entire flower and the exploding thing. And then another person was like, yeah, flower is extremely flammable. And, and it's just like, and I'm like, wait, is it? And it's like, and I, I look things up and everything. It's like, oh, apparently, I guess it is. I did not know that. <laughs> um, and it's used so casually in here. It's not like they're teaching you anything. It's just... It's just a natural thing. That's what the flower trap was about. That's why he set that up. And I was like, oh, I did not know that. I don't. I, I can't even say, though, like, it makes sense or anything. I, I can't say anything like that because it's like, it just genuinely did not even occur to me. It never, that, that never would have popped into my mind, ever. <laughs> so it's like, that's really genuinely interesting. Um, at this point, Lloyd is kind of like basically planning to start again. He 
tells Anya to go to the police station. He gives her a note, and it's like he's just he doesn't want to put her in danger, and that's very clear. Um, and, and you even find out why. You find out through what he's thinking and all, and through flashback that he used to be in a really bad position when he was a kid, and that he became a spy in the first place to make a better world for children so that they never have to be like he was. Um, Anya ends up hearing all this in his thoughts, though. <laughs> and so she stays right there so that when he comes back, they, he finds her again. And they just, they have to move because, you know, their position was compromised and everything. Uh, but she realizes he's lying. And then it goes to the ending of last episode where they're, where she's taking the test to, to get into the school, ends up passing... And because of it, Lloyd gets really excited about it and lets his guard down, realizing such afterwards that it's like, oh, shit, I let my guard down? And, and it's like he's starting, it's starting to connect with him that he actually cares about her. And it's like, this is cute. This is just super cute. Um, so I'm definitely interested to see where more of this goes. Um... I like the characters already. I like that Anya is just a normal little girl. That they didn't try to make her like it, too unnaturally smart or anything. Um, e even though they actually could have gotten away with that this time because she is genetically engineered. <laughs> it's one of those few occasions they could have gotten away with that. And yet they didn't do it. They still made her into just kind of an ordinary girl. An ordinary little girl. And I think that's that's a great idea. Because I, I think it's a great idea just because this is one of the few situations you could get away with doing that in. The fact that they didn't. I wonder if that was intentional or not. I, I wonder if they thought about that. The writer of, I assume, the manga or whatever. Um, that, that would be interesting to know. Um... But yeah, I, I very much can't wait to see more. Again, there's a lot of wholesomeness in this. There's a lot of just likability, and it's it's fun. Plus, it's also surprisingly intense at times. I mean, the, the first episode started off with a car uh, not being able to brake, flying off of a raised interstate and blowing up, killing everyone inside. Jesus. <laughs> and then, of course you had the entire situation with Anya being kidnapped and everything. So it's like, yeah, this can get pretty intense. So mixing that intensity with the wholesomeness, I'm very interested to see where they take that kind of stuff in the future. Either way, uh, we're just going to get this started and hope for the best. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then fades back in, Everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So I'm sorry about that. I, I hate it when, like, solicitors or whatnot come to the tour, especially when I'm in the middle of recording and all. Um just some dude talking about like you know political stances and um issues within the state stuff like that education e economy that kind of stuff um luckily it was quick um but let's talk about this episode this episode had surprisingly very little anya like comparatively the first episode obviously was centered around like you know Lloyd bringing Anya in to the family in a way I guess you could say a weird way of wording it but you know the the kind of the creation of this family unit in order to fulfill his mission and everything and a lot of it was how they get along how they react to each other how they interact introducing the characters and in this episode Anya just kind of took a little bit of a back seat she was still there for a portion of it and um still had some roles to play such as her little dance thing uh where she was like basically 
saying without saying without like trying to be too blatant about it i guess that she doesn't have a mother and everything um but on, uh, otherwise she was very minimal in this one this episode was definitely more about introducing your as a character and having her and um and lloyd foster a relationship to where she's going to be the acting mother of this family um so the next episode we're probably going to get more with the actual interactions between your and anya so we'll see how that goes when we well when we see um your is absolutely precious and i love her <laughs> um i can see why she seems to be excessively popular with the fans right now um like like i said i i've seen her all over the place on social media i've seen some random screen caps of her uh nothing like super spoilery or anything just like screen caps of like her expressions and stuff and whatnot um i've seen uh, a lot of fan art of her a lot of really good fan art of her too um and just people talking about her and really fawning over her and, and again while i didn't have any spoilers i knew her name was your I did not know her last name and I did not know it was like her real name either um I, I did not know if she went under a cover name as well or not um so that that was definitely a surprise to me as was her personality um I did not expect her to be so cutesy and and timid and very self-conflicted that that really caught me very off guard because a lot of the fan art i see is of her in like these cool badass action poses and stuff as an assassin and everything so maybe it's just because you know initial impressions based off of that stuff off the fan art and whatnot it's like i none, nothing i've seen has been her looking vulnerable or scared or timid or anything so seeing that side to her caught me off guard but in a very good way um i i tend to be a sucker for characters like this just admittedly uh characters who have these internalized issues because it makes them feel very real and just personally i connect with them a lot because of my own issues like that like you see in this episode at multiple points her thinking through things in her mind talking to to herself and constantly like showcasing a lot of anxiety and worry and a lot of pain honestly she's very stressed out by her job she's good at it she doesn't necessarily regret her job she's just very stressed out by it and it it, it keeps her from having good relationships with people and she's worrying her brother and that upsets her and it's like i have feelings like this where i i think and talk to myself in my mind or even sometimes out loud even if i'm just like whispering it where i i, I have these same kinds of anxiety ridden emotional like beating up of myself i'm very self-conscious about that stuff and about how i appear even to others and not always just for my own sake but just because i don't want to disappoint them and so yeah there a lot of my love for her character does come from connecting to her from finding a lot of relatability in her obviously i i don't i'm not some secret badass <laughs> i'm not like some secret assassin or anything really badass or cool but um just the vulnerable side to her that we see here is very relatable to me and almost to a really emotional point like because again those worries those concerns the sorrow that she clearly holds and it, it's all stuff i've felt and still do it's not like it just has gone away it's still stuff i 
concern myself over. I, I very much understand where she's coming from in a lot of this. Not to mention, she is the, the way she's written, her personality, the voice acting uh, for her and everything also just makes her super fucking adorable. She's really cutesy, and that's clearly the point. She's clearly made to almost be very different from Lloyd. Lloyd is very self-assured, very strong-willed, and while, of course, this is all a new experience to him with a kid and everything, he's never done something like this, he's still tackling it in a very confident, relaxed manner. So to have her personality be kind of an opposite of that, it's going to allow for them to bounce off of each other in some interesting ways. Um, as well as how they bounce off of Anya, comparatively, as well. I, I think it's definitely going to be great to see. Um, she also stands out because of this. Because she's not like Anya, because she's not like Lloyd, she's able to hold her own personality and character-wise making her truly feel unique and special within the context of this series. Which, again, that's a very good thing. Uh, I, I mentioned it when we saw her with all those other girls while they were working, and it's like I, I, I said, all of them have these very distinct designs that allow them to really feel different. You can see their personalities in their designs. And yeah, that very much stands for your as well. So I, I really like her just right off the bat with this episode. She they, they did a phenomenal job introducing her and making her instantly super likable, but also showing who she, she is underneath that as well. And, and I, I like also the difference with Lloyd, like not really having a true identity. While she does, she has a real life outside of her job because she's an assassin, not a spy. She doesn't have to keep her identity necessarily as secret as he does. Um, she just, because she's already so unassuming with her natural personality, she's, a, she's able to get away with it on a much more easy scale just because people wouldn't expect someone like her to be like that. So it definitely evolves a different kind of dynamic that I really feel is going to work in the long run. Um, in a lot of ways, this episode actually impressed me more than the first, um, just with its character introduction and building with Yor. Um, I just, I really can't wait to see more of how she interacts with Anya and how this next stage of the school interview with Anya is going to go. Um, because I'm very interested to see how they handle that kind of thing. Because it's probably going to be very... Intense is the wrong word here. I think I would say more along the lines of very serious. Like, these, the, the people who are going to be interviewing them are not going to take it easy on them and are going to very much quiz them hard on this shit. And Lloyd will probably be ready for that, but will she? Will your? We'll have to see. Um, I'm very excited to see more of this, though. Um, we also did have a little bit more of Frankie in this one. Um, I don't know what I feel about his character yet. He, he's the only major character, I'll say, who I just don't really have a strong opinion on at the moment. Um, because I just don't know, like, what to think of him. He's kind of goofy. He's kind of silly. He has a little bit of a strong personality. But I don't know. He just doesn't work off of Lloyd, like, exceptionally well to me yet. He, he seems like he's there more as comic relief in a series that doesn't really need comic relief. So I don't, I don't know what they're going for with him yet. 
maybe we just need to see how how it ends up evolving down the line but i don't know either way tell me your thoughts on episode two of spy family down in the comments below and thank you all so much for tuning in for now i'm connie and i'm signing off see you all next time